One of the most popular used decorations during Halloween are, of course, skeletons. I'm the man. Adding skeletons to your Halloween display can make it more creepy and fun. Unfortunately, sometimes they can end up being quite boring. That's why in this video we'll explore five ways that you can use skeletons to add more fun and excitement to your Halloween display. Wow! Before we dive into these five ways, I must emphasize one thing about these skeletons. Buy them cheap. You can find skeletons for on the cheap. You don't have to spend an arm and a leg, pun intended, to get skeletons. You can find them at Costco or Goodwill or any locations really at ha after Halloween sales. I have a whole video dedicated on the subject. But before we begin, it's important to know that you can find skeletons for 20 or $30, but you just gotta look in the right places. <laughs> Idea number one is adding costumes and making characters out of your skeletons. Rather than just plunking a skeleton into your yard, think about adding some clothes or some previously used Halloween costumes to your skeletons to give it a little bit more fantasy and a little bit more interest. Adding costumes to your skeletons gives your display a little bit more of a story and draws a little bit more interest. Giving your skeletons costumes makes them a new character. Give that character a background and you have an instant display. Like this display, where the skeletons aren't just skeletons that were plopped there. They tell a story and it makes it more interesting. Arr, Here are some more examples. Lady. Here's another example. I took a skeleton, take a wig, take a couple spiders, some spider webs, and a dress, and now you have an instant sleeping beauty. Playing off of that fairy tale theme, I took a pirate's coat, gave this skeleton a crown, took a couple of wigs that I got on an after Halloween sale, put them together, and now my display tells the story of Rapunzel. And I bought this dress at Goodwill. So I took $20 skeletons, added a few finishing touches, and now my display tells the story of Rapunzel who sadly never got rescued because her hero got tangled up in the hair. So think of what characters you could create. <laughs> Idea number two is to consider turning your skeleton into a decaying corpse. Ew. The impact of taking a cheap $20 skeleton and adding the decaying elements to it is like night and day. You can totally transform your prop into something that looks cheap and just thrown there to something that looks creepy and scary. This effect is cheap and easy to do, and I'm going to be creating another video in the future to show you how to do this with just plastic wrap and tissue paper. Consider corpsing your skeletons. The process doesn't take that long. You can do it for relatively cheap, and the results speak for themselves. Not to mention, there's lots of different ways to do it. Idea number three is all about turning skeletons into horror props. Here's what I mean. You could take a plain old skeleton, add a costume and a mask, and you have a brand new prop ready for display. Don't feel like you have to go out to these Halloween stores and buy an animatronic. 
you can turn skeletons into props using this cheap life hack. All you gotta do is buy a mask, take an old t-shirt, rip it up, add some red paint, be creative. Think about how you can transform a skeleton into a horror prop. You can also consider dismantling the skeleton, maybe using an arm or a leg or taking the skull and using it in a different location. For example, here I threw a whole bunch of things together and made a whole display out of just one skeleton. You can also combine idea number one, two, and three and take a costume, a mask, and some tissue paper, some duct tape and create a whole new horror prop. And this is much cheaper sometimes than buying them in the store already made. The best part is you can customize it and make it unique. Idea number four is get those skeletons into creative poses. Okay, do you remember earlier where I talked about how skeletons can be boring? Well, that's because most people plunk them in their yard as they buy them. And skeletons come in this standing arms to the side sort of pose, which again, can be very boring. And it's boring because we've already seen it over and over and over. People see these in the store packaged this way. You didn't really do anything besides take them out of the box and put them in your yard. But think about ways in which you can get creative with how to pose your skeletons. Here's a clever example I found on the internet where they took four skeletons and made them pallbearers at a funeral. And this is quite easy to do. Here's another example of skeletons posed in a certain way where you can tell that there's a story behind them, which makes it more interesting. And here's an example of my own Christmas Halloween themed party, where I took a skeleton and you put them into a pose and put a costume on them and then it kind of changes the story, it makes it a little bit more interesting. Here are some more images that I found on the internet of uniquely posed skeletons. Idea number five is all about thinking how to take a skeleton and break it down and dismantle it and create something new. For example, I took this skeleton, added some corpsing elements, added some fabric for a tail, put it in a net and now we have a mermaid. Here are some more ideas of how to create something new from those plain old skeletons. Well, there you have it. Those are five ways that you could take your skeletons and make them more exciting and interesting. So if you have any ideas, questions, or comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. 